Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, not teacher. Good evening. <laughs> it's a habit, you know. Good morning. No. How are you? Uh, fine, teacher. Thank you. All right. Did you have a good weekend? Ah, uh, well, working teacher. Oh, yeah? You worked yes. the weekend? Yes, I worked the weekend. Oh, man. <laughs> when, when do you rest? Do you rest in the week? In the week, one and a half day. Oh, okay, okay, good. That's good. I like to rest in the week. Mm. Well, I, I rather weekend because I can and go to go out with my family yes but that's the problem you don't rest like for example for me the perfect the perfect days is sunday and monday because sunday i can dedicate to my family and monday to me because everybody works for school and like <laughs> oh yes that's only me <laughs> good jenny how are you how was your weekend Good with my family. Have uh, you had any sequels of the COVID? No. No, no, no. Everything is okay. okay. Uh, I feel good. My family good. Um, uh, I, I just or that I prepared my mm -hmm. schedule for this weekend week because it's very very busy <laughs> oh yeah i'm sorry you work in you're a lawyer for yeah. that, right? yes today i visit usulutan la union morasan yeah i i uh, como es? regrese i write i write i came back i i came back uh, 20 minutes ago. Wow. Do you go in your car or the company car? Today in my car. With full air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. What about you, Selena? Kalena, Selena, sorry. Kalena, how was your weekend? Hello, everybody. Uh, not, not so good. Not very well. <laughs> oh, no. Are you sick? No, my aunt. She lives with me. She's 82 years old. And she fell down and broke and broke her hip. Her hip. And I know I'm, I'm very sad because she's in Seguro Pain. Social. Okay. And, and the... I can see her, and they told me that la amarran, la tienen amarrada, and I don't know why. And and I'm I am very sad, sad. I all all the week I me pasé pensando en ella y triste, triste. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, are they going to operate her? Uh Yes, yes, they told they, they told me that, that they have to uh, hacerle muchos exámenes. <laughs> many, many exams, many tests. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When my mother died, my mother died of cancer five years ago. And um, the last memory, the last time I saw my mother, la tenía amarrada también, like, like an animal, really. Yeah. And I was very angry, but the problem was that um, my mother took off el, el ivy. Yes, they take it off. Mm -hmm. and they put it back. They take it off. They put it back. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe your aunt, she, she is, <laughs> she doesn't like it. Now get this off. Get, take it off. Maybe. Um, and you can't visit her because of COVID. Yes. Oh man. It's terrible. Yeah. 
That's when it's good to have somebody inside to help you. See, but I, I don't have anyone. Yeah. I'm searching. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm sorry. I, I hope she you. feels better. Thank you. But in in the good thing is like at least is she's alive and she will survive. <laughs> yes. Sí, me imagino que la van a, la van a tener que volver super rápido por COVID. Oh, Como no, like no. operate her and go. Hoy hoy sí, hoy le hicieron la prueba del COVID y me dijeron que en tres días la dan y hasta que tengan la respuesta van a empezar. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Okay, what about you, Maylin? How was your weekend? I'm good. What, what did you do? And I go to the class. And I went. I went to the class. And when they finished the class, I cleaned the house. Okay. It's boring, but it's my my day, my weekend. I like cleaning my house, too. It, it, it relaxes me. But to I clean it the, alone. But in my case, I don't like the the dish, the wash the dish. No. I hate. <laughs> yeah, me too. Do you have children, Maylin? Yes, my son has 10 is, years. He is. He my is son 10. is. Yeah, okay. It's, it's funny when you have children and you clean the house because everywhere you open, there's always a little toy or something. And like, like here, do you see this here? Yes. It's, it's like a closet. I was cleaning that. I don't know how or why, but there's a toy of my son in there. You're como suviaki. <laughs> wow, you know, to begin, my son, he can't come into this room because here's where I have my computer and my paper, my work. And when I was cleaning, I found many, many evidence, toys, food, churros, like hmm. my Don Quixote. He touched it. Huh. All right. Mirna, how are you? How's your weekend? Hello. Uh, it was uh, very, uh, I don't know. I had my, my, my mind in white. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Blank. Blank. Uh, it's very tired because I was packing the of my uh, store. You were from, packing, from, huh? You were packing. Yeah, packing the clothes. Oh, okay, so you received. <laughs> yeah, you re the la carga, car merchandise. Merchand, ah, uh, yeah, merchand. Yeah, Friday and and Saturday. Oh, okay. Hey, but that's good. It's money. Yeah, it's money. <laughs> yeah. David Hernandez, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How's the weekend? Uh, uh pretty busy for because my father's car was in in the tire. In the shop. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, Sunday, I spent time with my family. That's all. Okay. So the car was in the shop only one day? No, for um, maybe one week. Okay. Uh -huh. Mechanics are big liars, huh? <laughs> yes, I think the same. <laughs> I have never met a mechanic, an honest mechanic. They always tell you, come back on, on, on Tuesday. Yes, I lo tengo. Then you go uh -huh. on Tuesday. Ah, yes, I do that. And they always have the same excuse. Uh -huh. In the archives, we are conscious that the, 
that the problem is big because the whole AC system is damaged. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, good. All right, class. This is the last week. Let me see, let me open this. We are almost finished, to be honest. I think we'll finish today or tomorrow. So when we do finish, um, we're gonna do some activities that's gonna be fun, some um, listening activities. <clears throat> Let me see. All right, we're gonna do some reading right now. So let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Francisco Santos, can you read the first paragraph, please? We have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs and nine people. So Francisco, read the first one and you choose the second victim. Mm, okay, no problem. All right. Yeah. Is that okay? Mm, there, there is. Okay, reading is fun. Book club members know that sharing and talking about books with others can be very rewarding for people who feel that they are too busy to read. A book club helps them keep up with a reading schedule. Others have gained self-confidence by participating in or leading a discussion. And most people enjoy the chance to make new friends. Okay, great. Um, thank you. Questions. Did everybody understand? Yes. Do you understand the, the word rewarding? Yes. Okay, so rewarding. yeah. Rewarding is when you uh, win something. No, rewarding is it's like um, when you when do you receive something. For example, uh, for example, when when you you are in a race, you win. They give yeah. you a, a medal. Right. No, actually, they give you an award. No, but rewarding is something you deserve. So mm -hmm. if you work hard, if you study hard, you know, it's going to reward you. Like um, imagine when you work harder, extra hours and your boss tells you, you know what? I'm going to reward you. Mm -hmm. Take one week off. It's your reward. It's como Merecido. Es uh, algo merecido. Recompensa. Una recompensa, exacto. Bien, uh, yeah, recompensa would be it. All right. Uh, Francisco, can you choose the second person, please? Okay. Mirna. Okay. Um, a successful book, uh, a successful book club should be small enough so quiet people can be here, uh, but also big enough for many different opinions. The best arrangement, uh, see, yes, <laughs> it's mixture of age and I can see and backgrounds. 
Some book clubs meet in bookstores, public li libraries, or cafes, or even online, but most have their meetings in members' homes. This sitting offers a quiet space and time for longer discussions. All right, good. Now, this doesn't really exist here, book clubs, right? At least here, no. But you know what? I have seen book, book clubs. I have seen them like in Starbucks or cafes. I've seen people sitting with books and talking about it. Yeah. Which I think is very, very good. Or work. Or work. Yeah, many people go to the cafes to work. Oh yes, to work. Or receive the uh, online classes online classes too. Okay, good. Thank you, Amir. Do you have any questions? No, no. I think that arrange, okay. a arrangement, what is it? Arrangements. Arrangement. Okay, um, when, when we go out with my family, like let's say we're going to go to the beach for a weekend. We rent a beach house. Usually my wife makes the arrangements. She calls, she, oh, okay. she pays and then she does everything. She does all the arrangements. So okay. when we go, okay, do you understand? Yeah. Okay, good. Can you choose the next person, please? Mm, Kalena. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mirna. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a book club could specialize in one subject or type of book, like mystery, science, fiction, or biography. Are you reading my, my, my screen or your screen? Oh, no, my screen, because I can see. Oh, okay. I was doing this just to... My age doesn't... <laughs> no me deja, no me deja leer, no, no veo, no alcanza a leer. Ah, pero uh -huh. sí, esa letra sí. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Okay. okay, so... I'm going to read your... <laughs> All right. Okay. No, 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 I can't. Um... Or the members could read all types of books as long as the book is recommended by someone who thinks it could be uh, worth discussing. Good. Questions? Mm, no, I, I don't have any. No, everything okay, good. All right, let's go for the next one. Can you choose the last person then, Kalena? Yes, of course. Demi Kesana. Okay. Okay. For the meeting to go smoothly, a really should be appointed. Pointed. The letter will usually start that is used and keep keep it going when needed book club member should never be afraid to offer their opinion even if they don't like a book different opinions may they discuss later later livelier livelier <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. What is a smoothly? Special. What? The first part of. Okay, smoothly. Smoothly. Smooth is something like soft, smooth. You know, like um, usually, this is this is like a man thing. A man has to carry on. And you know, when you turn it on, 
and you drive it and it's very soft. Generalmente nosotros en español decimos, hey, que suavecito el motor, right? In English you say smoothly, smooth. Smooth is, is something affirmative, is something good, something soft. Jenny? David, what is the meaning for livelier? Livelier. Livelier. Live. 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 Livelier. So a discussion livelier. makes 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 the um makes the discussion livelier. Like everybody's participating live, alive. Mm -hmm. Uh, so smoothly, Jenny, that's what it means. It's something soft. Thank you. Smooth. Smooth operator. Suavecito. <laughs> yes. Smooth operator. Remember that song? It's the Sade. Smooth criminal, I mean, Michael Jackson. All right. So uh, do, you, do you guys read? Do you like to read? No, really. I like to read, but no lo hago. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I like reading but I have in to. Spanish. Hmm? I, I, need to I, like, I like read, but I don't like reading English. Oh, okay. I love to read, but I don't I have read time anymore. My kids. Oh, you read with your kids? Okay. What is your favorite book? My favorite book mm -hmm. for my kids. <laughs> no, your your book, like. I, Lei Paula, the the. Pero hace mucho que no leo. Okay. Mucho the, mucho. David, uh, one hundred years. Cien años de soledad. Of solitude. That's what a, is that? What is the name in English? Yes, 100 Years of Solitude. 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 That's a very good book. My yes, condo. I like. Be, ¿Cómo se llama? Benito Buendía, right? Era la familia Buendía, pero yeah. no se llamaba Benito. No me acuerdo el nombre. Yeah, but I, yeah, that, but that's a, that's an excellent book. All right, my favorite book is Don Quixote. And then I like, um, I like, I like reading biographies. Now, I usually, there's this page that's called bios.com. It's pretty interesting, you read, a, you read a lot of biographies. I like reading a lot of biographies about um, medieval time, medievales. The kings, those people are crazy, man. Those people are very crazy. What about you, Mirna? Do you read? No, ouch, no. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, obras? Plays. Plays, yeah. Like the um, Salvadorian. Uh, I read, I love that. I don't know if you okay. read that. Is it Salvadorian? I don't I don't remember, but that's that was cool. <laughs> okay, all right, good. Okay. All right. Let's go back to okay. So let's do number one. A book club is only for people who have a lot of time to read. Is that true or false? True, I think. Oh. For me, it was false. false. No necessary. False. But in the platform, the correct is answer true. is true. Okay, yes. Yeah, for me, that was true. Yes. Okay, but you know what? I mean, two, the two are correct. But... Yeah, uh, I, I have here my 
notebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, number two, some members have become more self-confident by leading discussions in a book club. True. Nice. Okay, a book club should have a lot of members with the same opinions. False. False. Okay. Then, then they are say false, but yeah. the problem is true. <laughs> Really? The platform says it's true? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I remember once I was in a book club and we had this person, but he was like a very big fanatic, religion fanatic. And um, because we, uh, who asked me about livelier? When you have different opinions, the conversation is livelier. And um, he got very angry because I told him that the Bible is fiction. We're talking about fiction books, you know. And they say, okay, which is the most popular fiction book? And I said, the Bible. And oh my God, it's like I started a fire. <laughs> and that's when the book club finished. But what is I, the, David, what is the difference in the live, live here in discussion? No, no, the discussion is livelier. So everybody's participating. And everybody wants to participate in, in the discussion. Livelier, viva, mas viva. I don't understand. Sorry. It's an adjective. It's an adjective, yes. Okay, for example, look, I don't believe in the Bible, but I, I've read the Bible. Malin? Yes. Uh, I don't believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe. Okay, why? Do you know who wrote it? I'm Catholic. Oh, that's okay. But... No, okay, good. Uh, this is the discussion or like. Yes, quería empezar una discusión y quería ver quién se iba a meter. <laughs> Porque lo que se va metiendo la gente, oh, okay, now the discussion is getting livelier. Está poniendo activa. Uh, that was the example I wanted to give. That was an example. Uh, I understand now. Thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that was the example because, hey, hey, why? Why is the Bible fiction? Oh, but it's no, but blah, 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 blah. And, and then everybody, then Mirna comes in, and then Kalena comes in, and Francisco, <laughs> and then everybody's participating, and everybody wants to participate. It's livelier. The and everybody wants to fight. And then, yes, that's the problem. And then everybody <laughs> starts fighting, and then that's where it shouldn't be. Por eso que los discos en vivo se llaman live. Uh, for example, Bon Jovi live. Metallica live. Live okay. is like on blog. It's live. Live is en vivo. Está activo, está, está, está viva la cosa, es livelier. Mm -hmm. When you go to a discotheque, one is boring and the other is está mejor. It's livelier. Imagine imagine I go at I take my wife to a date and it's jazz music. She's going to be like, mm. but then, okay, let's go to another disco and it's merengue. She said, I like this, it's livelier. La, el, 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 la situación, el ambiente está más vivo, livelier. Okay, number four, a successful book has members with different backgrounds? True. An angel's true. A book club could only choose to read many different types of books. Sorry, many types of books. True. True? 
It's, it's false. 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 Most book clubs have their meetings in the homes of the members. False. Really, this is false. Yeah, and I put true. It was wrong. Hmm. It's better not to have a leader in charge of the discussion. I, I read that. Uh, in fact, you have to to have a, a leader. It's true, but I, I imagine it's going to be false, right? It's false. No, I don't know. We'll check. It's not okay to dislike the book being discussed. False. False. I believe, I can't believe number five is false. <laughs> Okay, it says intro to the video section four. Let's see what the lady in black has to say. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song.
awake knowing what to do. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. Revelation. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. What is the name of the song? <laughs> Revelation. So in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about working in the movies using passive. The passive voice, we're gonna learn about that today. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a 9-to-5 job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. You guys understand active and passive voice? Uh, so, so, so. <laughs> when we speak active and passive, I, I will teach you that today. Let's just finish this video and. Hello, 
know, in this lesson, we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then, and after to help you out. Okay, listen. Let me do one thing here. What do you see here? A shark. What is the shark's name? I don't know. I can Joe. see Joe. <laughs> and then, okay, Joe, and then the little one is Mike. Can you tell me in a sentence, what do you see here? What's going to happen? Joe. Going to it. Mike. Do 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 Correct. Do you have any more examples? It's going good. Joe is, is angry with. With Mike. Okay. Yeah. So, so following Mark. So everybody said Joe is going to eat Mike. Let's say. Pero nadie dijo Mike is going to be eaten by Joe. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's passive voice. What is passive voice? Uh, the action. Don't. The second thing. No, the action. Okay, look. It's very simple. Active voice, normally in, in English and Spanish, we always speak active. Yeah. We always put the subject first and the object last. Mike, no, Joe. Joe is going to eat 
Mike. Subject, Joe. Object, Mike. Correct? Que es un subject, el que hace la acción. Object, quien la recibe. Correct? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Passive is Mike is going to be eaten by Joe. What's the difference? Change the, the object is first. Exactly, and the subject is last. Mm -hmm. So listen, when we speak subject, when we speak active, I'm sorry, active, the subject is first and the object is last. When we speak passive, the object is first and the subject is last. Mm -hmm. Tiene dos explicaciones, una gramatical y una lógica. Entonces ya le expliqué la gramatical. Ah, una voz activa, el sujeto primero, objeto de último. Una voz pasiva, el objeto primero, el sujeto de último. So, entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia? ¿Por qué decimos las dos cosas si es la misma historia? O sea, el pobre Mike va a morir. Lo mismo da si digo, Joe se va a comer a Mike y Mike va a ser comido por Joe. Entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia? It's more formal. Mm, no. no. The bye. The action. Good answer. No, 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 but don't give me don't give me a grammatical difference. Tell me like okay. a logical difference. The logical difference is who do you want to make important? The subject or the object? According to the video, the 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 doer wasn't important. Yeah, no, because sometimes sometimes no, but in the example they gave. The doer is yes. important. But actually, it's this. Como, oh my God, oh my God, look, the big fish is going to eat the little fish. ¿A quién estamos dando importancia? The big fish. Yeah. But if we say, oh my God, oh my God, look, look, the little fish is going to be eaten by the big fish. We're giving importance to the little fish. So I don't know. <laughs> no, the difference is, when we speak active, it's because we're making the subject important. Mm -hmm. When we speak passive, we're making the object more important. Yo fui el invitado de honor. No. Yo fui invitado a la casa de playa del presidente de la empresa. Nice. Active or passive? Passive. Passive. What passive. is the active? El presidente me invitó a la casa de playa. Uh-huh. Pero como me quiero decir, hey, yo he sido invitado mm -hmm. por el presidente a su casa de playa. Eh, oh, en boy. español, perdón, David. En español, o sea que... La, la, no se oye. You're muted. Lo siento. Okay. Significa que si nosotros estamos hablando sobre el sujeto, lo convertimos ya en passive boy. No, eh, no, fíjese que irónicamente esto es lo mismo, la misma regla en español que inglés. Porque cuando hablamos pasivo, usamos el verbo en participio, el ido, va a ser comido, va a ser. No, es cuando hablamos una voz activa, o pasiva la diferencia es a quién le queremos dar la importancia al sujeto o al, o al objeto por ejemplo en este caso eh, hey, mira ese tiburón se va a comer ese pez pescadito 
le demos importancia al tiburón. Entonces hablamos de una forma activa. Porque pusimos el sujeto primero. Pero la misma historia, con el final igual. Pero, y hey, pobrecito, mira ese pescadito, va a ser comido por el tiburón. Y entonces ahí le dimos importancia al pescadito. Pero la historia es igual. Lo único que hoy pusimos el objeto primero. Y el sujeto de último. Cuando aquí dice que a veces no importa. Porque a veces podemos obviar el, el objeto. Pero eso es, eso es la diferencia. Active voice, passive voice. Um, Can you give more examples? Yes, I'm, I'm going to give one right now. Okay. I am going I am going to kill a mouse that is in my house for two days. Tengo un ratón de hace dos días en el hoyo. So I'm going to kill that mouse. Subject or object? I'm sorry, active or passive? Active. Active. Why? Subject? Subject. Because the subject, the subject is first. I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is the passive? The mouse is is gonna die. No, it's gonna be. Gonna be, 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 be killed. Or the, the mouse is going to be killed by me. It's going to be killed by you. Yeah. That's the passive. That's that's the difference between active and passive. Okay. Siento que lo he aprendido bien, pero ¿cómo hago para que no se me olvide? El <laughs> 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 Can you, uh, bueno, can uh, you uh, mostrar la estructura? Sure. Let me see. Let me do, let me, let me, let me send one in the chat. Do you see the chat? The cat is going to eat the mouse. Yes, I see. Okay, la, se acuerdan que hay, hay, hay dos tipos de explicaciones, la gramatical y la lógica. Entonces la gramatical, is this subject, uh, is this active or passive? Active. Active. Why? Because we're talking about the subject. The because, cat is the subject. Because the subject is first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the object is last. So, good. That's the grammatical. Now, the logical explanation. ¿Por qué se llama esta una oración activa? Eh, una voz activa? Because the subject, I. Yes, because the subject is important. In, yeah, in we are. Yeah. We are giving importance to the subject. To the subject. Yeah. So, entonces, in passive. David, the verb is ing always. No, because the verb here is eat. Going? Going to. No, that's future, going to. And the verb is in, what is the structure? La estructura 
I will show you now. This is the passive. So the structure is now in a passive, the object is first and the subject is last. Lo único que en pasivo usamos el verb to be y el verbo en participio, pasado, que termina en ado, edo, ido. Y por eso les digo, si se, si se dan cuenta, es la misma gramática en español. Miren, el gato se va a comer al ratón. Y el ratón va a ser comido por el gato. Va a ser comido. To be eaten. Es, no sé. Es bien, bien raro como es idéntica, idéntica. Las mismas palabras se pueden poner. La gramática. Entonces, Maylen, en pasivo siempre vamos a usar el verbo en participio. Thanks, David. Entonces, uh -huh, yes, you're welcome. So let me see. Let me give you another example. David Hernandez. Tommy. Check this out. Example, I can put say El Salvador is going to beat Mexico. Um, I don't know the meaning of beat. Beat is the soccer game, right? Uh -huh. So El Salvador is going to win win. The opposite. Beat, no beat is is a win. Uh -huh. Sinadim. Va a vencer. It's going to beat. Okay. Mexico. I beat uh -huh. the case for Mexico. <laughs> Example, that's why I put LOL. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, in this case, El Salvador is the subject. In Mexico, the object. So what is it the should... passive? Uh -huh. uh, the passive uh, will be Mexico. Uh, will be uh, vencido by El Salvador. Beaten. Uh, be beaten. Uh -huh. right, so. be old. I'm sorry, beaten. Teacher, <laughs> and it's always future. No, it can be past. Yeah. Okay, so look, what, what, hold on. Good, good question. It is out of peace. What happened? Mike is smiling. <laughs> no, Mike is inside no. the shark. The shark ate. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Mike. Joy. Mike ate. No, no, Mike is the little fish, remember. Oh, yeah. Mike was Joy. for yo. Very Joy. Hey, good. Very good. That on passive. Yes. Good, Francisco. Mike, Mike was eaten by Joe. By Joe. Mike was eaten by Joe. No, okay. Me pareció raro que empezaron con pasivo porque generalmente pensé que todos iban a decir Joe ate Mike. <laughs> But good, good. So Mike was eaten by Joe. What is the object here? Mike. 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 Mike is the object and the subject. So then this is a passive voice. 
So what is that? What is the active voice? Joe. Joe ate. Um, Mike. Mike. Yeah. Joe ate Mike. Yes. Don't worry. We'll practice more of this more of this tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Then thank you. Thank you very much. Have a happy Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Bye.